Welcome to Nexus Medical Media. In this video, we are going to talk about the hyoid muscles. But first, let's review the hyoid bone. Here is the hyoid bone. This bone doesn't articulate with any other bone. It's lodged within the soft tissues. It is a small U-shaped bone with lesser horns, which are lateral, and uh, uh, greater horns, which are posterior, right? So you can see the greater horns here, and then here we see the lesser horns, like two, two. Okay, so it is positioned cranially to the thyroid cartilage and is connected to it via the uh, thyrohyoid membrane, right? So this is the thyrohyoid membrane. Right, so the hyoid muscles are distinguished into two groups. The suprahyoid muscles, that's above the hyoid bone, or cranial to the hyoid bone, and the infrahyoid muscles, which are uh, like below the hyoid bone or the cow down to the hyoid bone. Right. Let's start with the suprahyoid muscles. Right. So these muscles include uh, the digastric muscle here in green, anterior belly and posterior belly. Here in yellow, you can see the stylohyoid muscle. Here you can see the mylohyoid muscle and the genuhyoid muscle. Right. What are the functions of the suprahyoid muscles? They form the floor or the bottom of the oral cavity. They elevate the hyoid bone during swallowing or deglutition. And they support the opening of the jaw. One more time. They form the floor of the oral cavity. They elevate the hyoid bone during swallowing and support the opening of the jaw. Right. Innovation of uh, these muscles. Right, so the inferior alveolar nerve will innervate the mylohyoid and the anterior belly of the digastric muscle. The facial nerve innervates the stylohyoid muscle and the posterior belly of the uh, digastric. And these muscles are also innervated by the anterior ramus of the spinal nerve C1 via the hypoglossal nerve. Right, so these are the suprahyoid muscles again, right? So you can see this raphe, it's median raphe, is between two mylohyoid muscles. Here you can see uh, the digastric muscle anterior belly, right? So if you follow it here, you will see the posterior belly uh, of the digastric muscle. Next here from the styloid bone, you see the uh, stylohyoid muscle. Here is the mylohyoid muscle here and here right okay uh let's talk about the infrahyoid muscles these muscles are below the hyoid bone right and uh, they include the following the thyrohyoid the omohyoid it is a superior belly and the inferior belly and you can see again the uh, sternohyoid muscle in green right so thyrohyoid omohyoid and uh, sternohyoid. The omohyoid has a superior belly and inferior belly. The function of infrahyoid muscles, is, the main function is the uh, depression of the larynx and the hyoid bone after swallowing. Right. Innovation. Uh, these muscles are innovated by the anza cervicalis from the uh, cervical plexus C1 to C3 except the thyrohyoid muscle that is innervated by the branch of the anterior rama of the C1 spinal nerve, right? So where is the thyrohyoid muscle? Here, right? So this muscle is innervated by the uh, anterior rama of C1, right? But the rest of the muscles are innervated by the anza cervicalis, C1 to C3. Right, so here you can see uh, these infrahyoid muscles again labeled here, right? So you can see the thyrohyoid from the thyro, from the thyroid gland to the hyoid bone, thyrohyoid. Here you can see the sternohyoid from the sternum to the hyoid bone, right? But, you know, there is a muscle that has been removed here. The sternohyoid is this one from the sternum to the hyoid, sternohyoid muscle, right? And here you can see the omohyoid. The superior belly and the inferior belly. 